In March 2008, the Duke University Symphony Orchestra invited a gifted high school vocal ensemble from Beaufort, South Carolina to perform in its March concert. During their day at Duke, the Beaufort High School Voices, directed by Victor Varner, performed and attended master classes before singing with the DSO in concert that evening. The Voices came to Duke as part of a collaboration between the DSO and the Beaufort community to raise funds for Beaufort Hospital's Kaiserling Cancer Center. Since 2003, the DSO has traveled to Beaufort for an annual benefit performance, which raised in excess of $110,000 in its first four years. Professor Harry Davidson speaks of the mutual benefit of the concert to the Beaufort community and Duke undergraduates. And it's a wonderful trip because it's just a win-win kind of trip for everyone involved. Uh, the hospital raises money, uh, it, it has this community event that people can, can uh, sort of support, and, and I'm always astounded how uh, my previous students uh, sort of bill it as one of the true highlights of the year, if not the highlight of the year. Duke undergraduate Sue Yang enjoys the trip and the connections she's made in the Beaufort community. The Beaufort trip is always fun. My host families have always been so nice. Um, there's something true in Southern hospitality. <laughs> it's, very, it, it's just very nice. They really look after us. Yang also appreciates the opportunity to work with other young, talented, well-trained musicians. Too, because we heard them and we were like, wow, they sound really good. We should collaborate with them. And when we hold our next concert, we invited, um, we, um, they sang with us at the Beaufort concert. When people are cohesive, you can tell. The ensemble speaks out. There are very few little aberrations here and there, and the main voice is heard, and um, there's always something to be learned from um, good groups. While at Duke, the voice has participated in master classes with Duke vocal performance specialists. Professors Elizabeth Linartz and Alan Friedman coached the voices on vocal technique and performance practice. And the young musicians appreciated this valuable learning opportunity. Duke has a reputation for being probably one of the top schools in the nation, and you could just expect it for being musically the same way. So, like, I knew it was going to be probably top of the line, but like, working with the doctorates in there was just like, mind-blowing for me because they had just so much knowledge. Well, it was very fun. Like, he get very creative with the things he's saying and all that. Like, um, you, like, reach on top of the shelf trying to grab the cookie when you want to go on top of the note and everything. So then I was like, well, I could really apply that to what I'm seeing because sometimes when you go to the high note, you tend to kind of, like, slowly creep up there instead of just jumping on top of it. And now you made me like a better singer overall. Voices soprano Madeline Johnson speaks to the significance of the DSO's relationship with Buford and the Voices. We sing for church functions, we sing for any sort of charities, and we haven't really had a chance to do something as big as coming up to Duke University. <laughs> so this is really a big thing, a chance for us to really show what we've got in Buford. So it's, it's really fun. As a highlight during both the Duke and Buford concerts, the ensembles collaborated in performing Sikut Lokutus Est from Bach's Magnificat.